morning everyone um it's about i think like maybe eight o'clock nine o'clock uh here in illinois um it's been maybe about a day or so since i got here uh maybe it's two days yeah it's been two days since i got here two three days um i got here you know after i uh, i got i guess saturday night was it i got here late saturday night because we broke up on friday so maybe saturday sunday i think i guess maybe i got here late either saturday or sunday probably sunday i think at like 10 o'clock at night i uh, just went to bed and then uh, next day monday i unpacked a little bit uh, brought everything in the house out of my car um i wasn't able to pack up everything from my boyfriend's place um but I was able to get like most of the important stuff. Uh, I call my computer, all of like my Gundam stuff, <laughs> clothes and stuff, you know, for a suit, all that stuff. I kind of, you know, tried to fit the important stuff in my car first um, and then leave, you know, the rest of it there so I can come back for it another time. Um, but yeah, I haven't really been doing much. I've been trying to unpacked for the past two days um i can show you guys you know my room here in a second and i've just been taking you know, a few days to i don't know just do some stuff um kind of you know keep my mind off of the breakup uh it still hurts on every day i still cry about it it kind of still sucks um just from him, he, it seems like he's so distant, like it's, like for him it's the easiest thing in the world, like he just didn't care, um, which sucks, didn't like to me personally, I don't know, but oh well, um, yeah, I just need to move on, get over it, because, I don't know, what else I can do up here about it, um, but yeah, so let me take I'll show you guys my room. I'm sitting on the heater here because, you know, in Illinois, I live so far north that it is like, it's like less than 50 degrees outside every night. It's, it's freezing. I can't take it. <laughs> Moving from like Florida to here, it is super cold, but, um, I've got my, just most of my stuff on shelves now. Um, I, I, when I came in here, I basically took everything off the shelves that was um, here because it was just like all old stuff um, from my childhood that I don't really want anymore. So I put all my stuff on there. I've got cables just littered around because I'm trying to like get boxes because those are two drawers. I'm trying to put th that stuff in there, but I'm r I ran out of like cardboard boxes. Got some of my stuffed animals there because the rest won't fit in my closet. So I put what little ones and my favorite ones I could there. Um, unplug from power here. I got my music stuff over there because I don't know where to put a giant keyboard at this point. I didn't bring my my desk from you know Florida uh, up here because I didn't have any room for it. I figured I'd take it on the second trip, but also I have a desk here, but it's a lot smaller, so I can only I can only put on the two monitors I brought with my keyboard and like that and that's not even enough space for everything i got my lap uh my desktop set up um my router and then i put a my tv there i still have some packing to do uh, like some clothing to put away um let's see about that one if i could like get over rig this up get over it no is that no it doesn't look good I get rig it like that. Yeah, I can. Perfect. So, that's all my hands. But yeah, um, unfortunately, you know, I've just, this past, you know, two days, um, I've really just been, like, half of it, usually during the night, I've just been unpacking because my mom goes to, she goes to bed. It's so early. It's like 7 o'clock, like 7 p.m. She's like, oh, well, time for bedtime. I'm like, we literally just had dinner like 20 minutes ago and you're going to bed now and she's like yep I'm like why she's like, oh you know i've got work in the morning i'm like 
in like 12 hours. I know I sleep 12 hours, but you don't. <laughs> She's always complaining that she can never sleep in the nights. So it's like, why are you going to bed like right now if you can't sleep? You go to bed at one in the morning like I do. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, 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 I get along with my mom, but sometimes she aggravates me as, as it's evident. It's just, she annoys me with little things, like, a lot, so. Gonna, gonna have to, you know, learn to deal with that. Um, but yeah, I've been unpacking the past two days, trying to get, it's mostly just, you know, the cables and then, like, that Gundam stuff. And I still have all of my built, built Gundam figures just laying there. I haven't put them all back up, because during the move, they all kind of got, you know, just, just disheveled and the parts came off, so I have to pop them all back on and do that so but I, I mean I've got for the past, I mean after doing it for the past two days I've got you know this room mostly done it's looking pretty good uh, I'd like to if I don't have enough room I'd like to get like those like boxes from Ikea um, like, just, like, those white hollow boxes and just mount them on a wall and put, like, some lighting behind it. I think that would be dope, because then I could, like, sync the lighting up to music and then have it, like, thump with the Chromecast. That'd be really easy to program up, so, uh, I might do that. I think I have some, like, unused LED strips or, like, extra LED strips laying around here. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but, yeah... Uh, I also been hanging out, hanging with my friend Josh. Um, we're actually thinking about doing a lot more because he, because right now I have literally nothing to do. I have like, I can like job search. That's about it. But other than that, it's going to be, <sighs> excuse me, sorry. It's going to be like sitting here making videos and play Neo games, so, and job, you know, job searching, but, so, what he wants to do, because he's, he's just doing his college stuff, so, um, which is just gen eds, but we're, you know, we're thinking of doing, uh, like a, like a, a co-YouTube channel together, like a, do, um, like, let's, like, let's plays, and then maybe podcasts and stuff, um, we're still trying to come up with a name with, a name of it right now, um, He's also, like, his computer just took a shit, so uh, he was waiting on me to get my computer up. And I'm waiting on the sound cable to come tomorrow. I lost that in the move. I don't know how. I handed my mom, you know, all the cables and told her to put it in one specific box. And somehow I'm missing now, like, three things. So, and of course, it's, like, two of the... Like, one of the things I need the most is, like, an important exclusive cable that's, like, really hard to get, so. Uh, luckily, they have an extra one on Amazon that you can buy for, or, like, five bucks, six bucks, so. Luckily, Amazon had it on Prime. It's, I, like, even the website of the manufacturer doesn't have that anymore, so it's weird that Amazon would. I checked on eBay, and, e like, eBay had one person had it, but the rest of it were, like, it's a Toslink cable, so I don't know if, if, if anybody knows computers or whatever, but there's an, a stupid old optical cable called Toslink, and it sends um, audio through, you know, digital impulses of just a red flash, and you can even see it through one of the ends. Um, that, but, yeah, it's basically just, like, fiber optic, but shittier, uh, for, like, for audio. So this Toslink cable um, usually has this weird funky jack uh, that you can plug into your computer, and then the other end is supposed to plug into my audio system, but it's a, like a 3.5 converter to toss. Um, so it's it looks like a 3.5 jack, but it's uh, at the end of it, like a, you know how you got your 3.5, it's just like a metal thing. At the end of it, it that's snipped off, and so you can, so the light can come through. Um, so that's how you, you know, it's how the audio comes through. The computer reads those little red flashes, and that turns into audio. Um, but the, the website manufacturer doesn't have that 3.5 version. It's just the two weird funky plugs. So even the people who I, ha I, who I originally got the product from don't sell that cable anymore. So I don't know how Amazon had it, but thank God it's Prime. So it'll be here tomorrow and luckily I'll have audio. 
I was able to bring two of my monitors. The other one was on like a desk, like clamped swivel arm thing. So I just wasn't able to like unscrew it and everything in time. So I just left it there because um, I have to come back for it. So, uh, but yeah, I've been, uh, I'm trying to keep saying that uh, I've been going to, I've been, you know, like drowning my sorrows in uh, two stores down here in Illinois or yeah up here up here in Illinois I keep thinking Florida's down so I keep going down here but it's really up here because I'm up in Illinois um not down but up here in Illinois there are two stores that um I'm you know very glad that I am within an, an hour driving distance of that's not bad at all uh, for me at least um is Mitsua and then round one. Mitsua is a, you can think of it like a grocery store, but like an actual Japanese grocery store um, on steroids even a little bit. So just in Mitsua, there's there's a grocery store, um, a small Japanese bakery that sells like the those Jap uh, Japanese like uh, sweets, like those, like the cornets with the, um, the chocolate stuff in the center, uh, like from Lucky Star. And then there's, the there's a whole food court we can get like actual like curry ramen uh, or, um not curry ramen uh, curry and then actual ramen um like chicken katsu a whole bunch of good stuff there really delicious um crepes even uh and then they have a dvd plate like a dvd um like, like, I don't know if you rent or buy it there. I think buy probably like a DVD shop or Blu-ray shop. Um, it's all in Japanese, obviously. And then there was, there's like an alcohol bar, like a like place where you can buy alcohol, um, a place where you can buy, I think it's like travels, like to Japan, like trip, like plane tickets, um, or, you know, like those group break thing bullshits. Um, and then there's a bookstore that sells like they used to just sell like books and like some like Japanese books and like stationary stuff and then some anime stuff. But now since I've gone back there, they've really upped their game. They have all like their whole left section is now just like all um, some like one wall of it is just uh, English uh, manga. And then the rest of it is uh, like actual Japanese manga that hasn't been translated yet. Then there's a whole section for um like Gundam models which is just, oh just yes and there's some really good Gundam models there bunches of RGs that I need to pick up um some frame arms girls I'm not too into frame arms girls so I'm gonna pass on those um then they have like a whole like Figma section um and like small little like charms and stuff um I did get a few things like that I got a it was, I think it's called Dan Board, but it was like Dan Board Neon, Neon Board. Um, it's that little uh, cardboard guy figure. And it was in a little blind box, so I didn't know what one I was gonna, gonna get, but I got the regular cardboard cat, which I like. Um, doesn't have a lot of you know, posability other than the head being able to tilt and then his arms kind of move forward. I don't think his feet even move. They kind of, and kind of, uh, I can turn, I can turn a little bit, I can actuate, actuate them, and uh, he's got a little tail and some ears, I wish I could move the ears, but, yeah, I think he's cute, um, right there, but yeah, um, they, the, the Japanese grocery store is, like, everything there's imported, so it's really all just, like, really hard to come by candy uh i don't think i have any of the package there but i found like um it was uh, a cat it, it was just cat paw gummies so they were like they were just big cat paws oh here here's the package it looks like this um so the gummies kind of kind of look like that they're all kind of smushed so they're not like perfectly shaped like that but they're all little like cat paws and they taste like grape um so i, I thought that was really cute um they're pretty good and then they have a whole, like, drink aisle of, like, like sodas and, like, their teas and stuff. So you, I can get any flavor of Calpico. Calpico? I don't know. Um, last time I was there, they had Skull. I love Skull from 
uh, from Robotics Notes, and it's the only anime I've known <laughs> that's talked about Skull, but it's like Sprite with milk or something like that, but it's so delicious. Um, I didn't find it this time, but they had it last time I was there, so I'm hoping they'll bring it back. But a whole bunch of ramen flavors, um, and yeah. Um, they also have a bunch of ramen and like actual grocery stuff, so if you're looking to get like, you know, mochi or whatever and stuff like that, they have that there. Um, they also just um, added in a, some new refrigerators, um, and now they're selling sushi and onigiri, and I like, like, I like, I think onigiri's rice balls, but now they're selling like actual rice balls, and I want to, I think I'm going to try to go later today and like pick up some rice balls, so I might do like a video, a small one of like, I don't know what flavor this is, let's do a rice ball of whatever, um, rice ball roulette, um, and then like 10 to 20 minutes away from Mitsua is round one, which is a, I believe it's Japanese owned, like it's like the headquarters is in Japan, but it's a arcade bowling alley. Some of them do like karaoke and then ping pong. Um, mine, I think just does bowling arcade and then karaoke. I'm not too sure about <coughs> I didn't say ping pong tables or anything, but um, the, the really important thing is that they import, um, their, they, they import games to the, to the, to the, the locations. So, um, you can get a lot of like really like Japanese exclusive arcade games online too. So like if, if you know anything about, you know, Japanese rhythm games like DDRA, that's the, it's the current, you know, DDR, but you have to play it online because that's how it saves all your data. That's how it, you know, does, does everything. Uh, if you don't, that's just kind of like, at least to me personally, it's not as fun. Um, but like, they have that, they have Sound Voltex, they have 2DX, they have Groove Coaster, they have, um, what, what new ones? They have it's some sort of like tapping one, they have Project Diva, they have Pump It Up, they have, uh, the new Disney, like the Disney Tsum Tsum arcade game, which is super cool. Um, not dang, I don't have it, but you get little, you can just, you can either like for one swipe, you can play it or for five swipes, you get a little, uh, charm. And I have been playing that game fucking so many times. It's five swipes. So that's 30 credits. So it's, it's like, or some like some uh, 50 credits or some bullshit, like number like that. So it's, it's a lot of like, points off of your arcade, you know, tokens or whatever, um, for a figure. And I have been desperately, cause the, the, you get a little charm and these charms you can scan into the game and they're the, you know, the characters for your, your power ups. I have been playing that game desperately trying to get a stitch stitches, like a stitch or a Nick wild to my favorite, you know, a, just a favorite character, Disney character of mine. So far, I haven't got anyone. My friend who I'm like, oh, hey, let's play this game together. There's a versus mode because there are two machines so we can play together. And I was like, you can get a figure too to, you know, whatever. The first one he gets is Stitch. And I'm like, I'll trade you. Whatever guy I got, you can just have it. Like, and he's like, no, Stitch is really cute. He's like, this one's cute. And I was like, you, f you fucker. Like, I've been playing, I like, I, sh like, I can sh hold up all of my eight and I've been f sucking money in this game, so... I hated that. It pissed me off so much that I went there with my friend and I was like, I need Stitch. And he's just like, I got Stitch on my first try. I'll keep him. It's like, Arr! but oh well, I won't get that bad out. I'm sure I'll get him eventually if I just keep playing. Um, but yeah, they, they, st they brought in um, a bunch of like old sit down um, uh, arcade games. They had, um, like, uh, like Persona 4 Ultimax and Persona 4 something, like the, the two fighting Persona 4s, like in actual arcades, um, and then they had like, um, Tekken 7, I think, um, there in like the fighting, like the cabinet, but me and my friend tried doing verses, but it didn't work at all, like, it, every time we tried to verse each other, it just didn't work, so, but yeah, I love... I love having round one close by because I really like Sound Voltex and um, like 
2DX and uh, DDR and Groove Coaster. So, you know, being able to play those and it's like an hour away is not that bad at all. So I'll be doing that a lot. Um, I don't know if I gotta do videos or there or there or anything because it's really like loud with all the music and stuff. Um, maybe I what I'd like to do. I don't know if they have like like good Wi-Fi there. I should check out, but I could do like maybe you could do like a like live stream there. That would be kind of fun, like an arcade live stream. I could just pop it up on my phone. I have my battery bank plugged in and just walk around, and I could set the thing on up on the arcade and you guys just watch. So. That would be cool. Um, yeah. Other for plans for today, I don't have anything much going on. I still have to finish um, packing or unpack. Or, you know, unpacking, putting away stuff. Um, need to sort the rest of my clothes today. I need to go to uh, what's it called? U U.S. P.S. like the post post office um they've got those like free boxes that you can like use to ship i don't use them to ship i just use them as like storage boxes because they're free so i'm probably gonna go there and snag two boxes because they perfectly fit under my bed drawers uh in, in the bed drawers so i'm using that for cable storage and organization so because yeah i got so many like usb cables i just have a pile right here that i'd like to put in a box and store away um, but yeah, other than that, you know, not much going on, so, but appreciate you guys, you know, sending all the, the wonderful support messages, um, after that last video, I just, you know, had to upload something to keep you guys in the loop because I haven't been uploading for forever, so, yeah, um, but yeah, you know. Not much going on currently, so sorry for, you know, not uploading, but, you know, at least this video for those that, you know, are really interested in my, in, in you know, the content I produce can keep up to date with me, uh, with this, so. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want me to do, if there's anything, um, kind of, you know, we're in, I kind of don't have much ideas here currently. Um, to shoot, cause I don't know. Kind of, my light's kind of shambled currently, so I don't, you know, know what much to do. But, anyways, I've probably talked long enough. I've rambled long enough. So, appreciate you guys watching this now, like twenty-three minute long video. I'll end it here, so you guys can don't have to spend your sanity on me. Uh, but anyways, appreciate everyone for watching this. Um, thanks. Bye.